make a miracle three and send it to overtime. Looking on this three. gave it a chance to go in. You shoot that flat, it comes off the iron. This is about as high arcing shot as you could ever get. And that's why it softly curled into the net. Well, Reggie Williams missed the second free throw. And it was just a battle for the rebound off to Marcus Cousins that got the Warriors that possession. Radmanovich rails the three and the Warrior fans, which are here in large number. Yes, they are. A lot of them right behind the Warriors bench. Miracle three. How about this? I don't I think he tried to miss this like that, and all of a sudden went off Cousins. It was Radmanovich battling Cousins that got him the ball. And then Vladimir. Well, this is great coaching, though, because they have this play all set up. They know what they're going to do to try to get a three. And they popped him out. That's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Well, now, five minutes of overtime. I like it. The Warriors have come from 16 down in the fourth quarter. They catch the Kings. They can play a little overtime. They've got three days off coming up. Well, does this become the Christmas miracle win in Sacramento, or do the Kings right themselves? What a comeback. Vladimir Radmanovich, 13 fourth quarter points. Well, I'll tell you, that's why, as I say, he just stayed in there to the bloody end. 13 of his 15 in the fourth. He yeah, hadn't even scored in double figures all year long. So the Warriors dominate that fourth quarter after a miserable third. And we're going to overtime here. Well, if they're not inspired by now, after that fourth quarter comeback. Now, we'll reset the foul issues here. Amundsen is fouled out. David Lee, four fouls. Reggie Williams, four fouls. Radmanovich, four fouls. In Sacramento, Beto Udrich has five fouls. You know, if you were to attack him and get him out of the game, that would hurt the Kings. It certainly would. Had a career night. You have to realize, though, the Warriors have overcome a 16-point lead in the fourth quarter. That's right. They, they, they were, that's the biggest lead the Kings had, not until the fourth quarter. That is correct. This is inspirational for him, and it would only be, it would cap it perfectly if they could go away with a win. Well, what would this do for the morale? The key is going to be rebounding the ball, playing that defense, and emptying that tank in these next five minutes. And Monte way, Ellis was just talking to his teammates right there about all of that. The Kings never had a chance to foul because the ball was right, thrown right to a three-point shooter who went right up. 